hello okay i just got back from the gym and if you know me you know i have severe asthma you see i can't even like talk without having to like gasp for air um i have severe asthma it ruins my life it ruins my day every day it's hard to walk it's hard to eat it's hard to work out but i still do all that stuff because I, it's like not even an option for me not not to eat, not to walk, not to work out, you know? It's not an option for me. But it really does, like, what's it called? R ruin my mental health sometimes. Like, I have videos on my photo booth on my computer where I am, like, crying, breaking down in tears because I'm so upset. I'm like... I'm in pain every day. I'm uncomfortable every day, which is true. But I'm someone who's always trying to keep it positive and trying to manifest things all the time. But something that I always am just like, I don't know if I can ever change is my the fact that I'm like physically ill. Okay. I have like three major problems that affect me or like four but like three major ones that affect me on a daily basis but like a fourth like another one that affects me but that's gonna affect me later on anyways um can anyone breathe but basically what is that noise okay what i'm trying to say is that well, I'm not trying to come on here and tell you, even if you have, like, illnesses and conditions, you can manifest your way out of them. Because I don't believe that for myself right now, but I want to get over it, you know? Like, I want to get over it. But, yeah, I just feel like I wanted to talk about the fact that, like, I'm, I'm someone who looks like they're, like, there's no issues with them. There's nothing wrong with them. I mean, like... <laughs> I don't mean that in my, like, the, my physical appearance. I just mean that in where it's like, you know, I go to the gym. I walk. I work. I go to school. Do I look like I have conditions? No, I don't. But I do. And it's like, it's hard sometimes because people, I just feel like they don't take me seriously when I tell them, like, yeah, I, like, am literally in pain or in some kind of discomfort 24-7 or, like, I have severe asthma or, like, my digestion is not a thing. Like, I can't digest anything properly. Um, like, I've had family members who are, like, once you get a husband, it'll all go away. I'm, like, that's not how it works. But, yeah, I was talking to my friend about this before. Shout out to my friend who also has dealt with, like, physical conditions that have, like, tampered with her life before. Like, it's really hard because, like, it's like you can function, but then you have all these, like, setbacks that make everything you do feel so much more worse. And it's like, it's like... Yes, I can function, but I'm also, like, in pain while doing it, you know? And it's, like, I'm really trying to figure out how I can get over this. Like, I take medicine all the time. I take, like, seven medicines daily or something, multiple times a day to keep myself alive. But it's just, like, shit. I didn't mean to swear. It's, like shoot like I was in the gym today and I had to like wait like so long between each set just to try and catch my breath and it's like one of these days I'm gonna pass out one of these days like that's gonna be it for me I don't I don't know it's just like why am I having so much trouble with my asthma and everything and it's like it's just making life really hard you know because it's like I have to like stop to take these gasps and I don't even get like a full breath in and it's like it makes me really frustrated you know but 
this video is it's just like it's there's no purpose of me saying this but i just need to get out the fact that i went to the gym today and it was so difficult because i'm like i can do these weights i can lift these weights i'm strong but i'm in so much pain doing it and i can't not work out because i have another condition that makes me like gain weight easily and like i have to watch what i eat all the time and i already can't eat most foods because i have really bad digestion so i'm not on here to complain i'm on here because i'm just trying to like speak out what i'm going through and i can so i can figure out, out a way where i can get out of my blog where i keep always thinking like i can achieve everything i want in this life i can get anything i want in this life except the fact that i'm always going to have these conditions i'm having a hard time trying to tell myself that i can have whatever i want and i don't need to set myself up for the bad parts in life because i i always tell myself like i have these conditions because all the other other parts of my life are great my family is healthy and good and like i have shelter i have food i go to school i work you know like there has to be something wrong with my life but but do i do i need to be the one who decides that like i'm just trying to like figure out like do i need to be the one to be like like i have really great stuff in my life life isn't perfect there always needs to be something bad so let's just say that this is my bad part sure to keep me sane yeah sure but it's like maybe i don't need to be the one to what's it called be the one who says what is the bad parts in my life maybe i can let the uncontrollable things in life be that part and actively try and work on this but i just i don't even know what to do like what am i doing wrong what am i doing wrong that's causing me to not be able to breathe all the time and like not be able to digest food all the time and it's like i always like watched what i ate i always like um kept active i don't know where this came from my breathing started to like, I always had asthma, but it was never, like, it never became to where it is, where it's, like, a literal chronic condition that affects me every second of every day, where I can't breathe properly. And that started when it, when, in 2020, okay? Why did, why did it all just have to hit then? I don't know. But, yeah, and I also just find that my, like, my stomach problems were just increasing since the 10th grade, I think, from, like, 2019. Like, this past semester in university like towards the end i no i never skip class i i would never skip class i love school i love going to class i'm also like i'm not going to lose a 100 dollars each time i don't go to class but i could not get out of bed from how bad my stomach aches were i could not get out of bed and it just got to the point where i was like i don't i'm not even going to i would email my teacher saying like i can't come i don't feel well but it just got to a point where it just seemed so suspicious that i was always having i was always sick during class so i just stopped email, emailing my professor that because i couldn't come in and even if it made me like absent like an excuse well that's what it was because i just felt like it's it's like he, who's gonna trust that i'm being sick all the time you know so yeah i don't know I really want to not have these problems anymore. But it, I just, it's gotten to the point where it's like my personality trait. Like having these conditions is like, it's just my personality trait. It's like, I, it's like, I, it's almost like I don't want to get rid of them, but I do. But I'm just like, I'm too lazy to get over it. But it's like, I don't know how to get over it. Like, how, like genuinely, Emily, how do you get over these problems? I take my medicine. I, I pray sometimes for it to go away, but I just don't know what I'm missing for this to, like, actually go away. <sighs> you know, I don't know. Hopefully, it goes away someday. And, you know, because I tell myself, like, this is probably how I'm going to die. I'm probably going to die from, like, choking or, like, suffocating, something like that. And it's, like, maybe it's the fact that I'm already, like, so comfortable in sitting in my conditions that I like I feel like 
it's when you're uncomfortable with the fact that, like, like, oh, this should not be the case, then that's when you work hard enough to get it away. But I'm just so, I've been so comfortable sitting in the fact that, oh, I'm like physically ill, you know? It's like, I had a throat infection this week. There were a couple days this week where it just hurt so bad to swallow that I couldn't even sleep. Because I it just hurt. It was like, it felt like I was going through some kind of like saw machine every time I just had to like get rid of my saliva, you know? And I went to the doctor. I was like, I cannot live like this. Like, I need to go to the uh, pharmacy and get medicine. I'm also really bad with doctors and pharmacies because I just don't trust them anymore because I'm just like, well, I have these problems. All y'all do is give me medication. I don't really see any improvement, so I don't trust you. But that's not really the case. That shouldn't be the case. I shouldn't be thinking like that. But like I said, I went to the doctor and they prescribed me pills and I have yet to go pick them up. I am the problem. But it's because my throat infection went away, but I know that it reoccurs. And maybe if I get these, if I take these medicine, if I take this medicine, it'll, it will finally go away. But then I'm like, do I really want to be taking a tenth medicine? No. Do you know how much medicine I take, doctor? No. Because you're just a one-time thing. But... Yeah, it's like I'm too comfortable with the fact that I have these conditions that I don't, I'm not always racing my mind trying to figure out how to get rid of this, you know? Whereas when I had the strep throat or whatever, the sore throat, I was like, I cannot live like this. I need to go fix this, fix this right now. So I guess I should start looking at other ways to fix this. But I also don't want to go crazy because I know people who've had... chronic illnesses and they go crazy over like trying to find new remedies and they're like oh this is the problem this is the problem and it's like they start thinking of crazy things and it's like whoa hold on to your head these you should not be thinking that everything is a conspiracy theory you know i don't know i'm just putting this out there that although i may look fine i'm literally i can't breathe i cannot breathe like it's I feel so choked up over here. Oh my gosh. And I can't even like eat without feeling like I can't eat normal amounts without feeling like I just ate 30 million dishes and now I'm stuffed and I can't breathe. You know when you eat too much and you feel full and it's kind of like hard to breathe? That's how I feel eating more than like I don't know one bowl of cereal, you know, like, it's not, like, and, like, you know, I don't know, but, yeah, I suffer, but I don't want to, and I don't want to say that I really suffer, because I'm still functional, you know, like, it could be worse, it's just, it's worse than it's ever been, and I don't want to be like that, but I also don't know what to do about it, but, yeah, we shall see what happens to me in this life and I should not be I should not be being I should not be saying like oh yeah I'm gonna die by like suffocating my lungs are gonna like close up one day and that's gonna be that's how I'm gonna die no yes it's comforting to think that to think that I solved the way I'm going to die but like I should not be sitting so comfortably in my problems in my physical health I should be treating it like I should not be having this I need to get rid of this ASAP you know like I'm just lazy. I'm I'm proud of the problem why I can, it continues, you know. I'm trying to get rid of that. I'm trying to fix that, but it's really hard. Yeah. Well, that's it for this.